Hi all the kids, it's Kimmy again, and I'm ready to show you another activity that you can do from home. All right, are you ready? We're gonna get our supplies together. For this activity, we're going to need tape, we're going to need scissors, we're going to need ribbon, the kind of ribbon you wrap presents with, or maybe the ribbon that you put in your hair, or maybe even yarn, or even string. You choose, but we need some ribbon and some string. And finally, we need a stick. We can use a stick you find outside, like this one, or you can use one of these sticks. You know what this stick is? It came from when I got my Chinese food. It's a chopstick. I have two, but we really only need one. And you know what we're going to make with all this stuff? I bet some of you could guess. Let me move these out of the way and I'll show you one before we get started. Here is an example of what we're going to make. We're going to make ribbon dancers. You put on some music and you swirl those ribbons, okay? So this is what we're gonna make today. Today's activity is gonna require a little bit of help from a grown-up, okay? So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pretty big piece of tape, like about that long. And here's the part you might need help from a grown-up because we need to put the tape so that the sticky side is up but when the sticky side is up, it sticks to our fingers, so it's a little tricky. So that part, you might need some help. And then we will ask the grown-up to take one piece of tape and put it on this end, and then another piece of tape. See how I'm ripping that? You might use scissors if you need to. You put it at this end, okay? So now our masking tape is, is on, the, on the table, but the sticky side is up, and it doesn't keep getting off on my fingers. So now it's ready for the kids. All right, so it's time to start adding our ribbons. And like I said before, this is ribbon that we have from when we wrap presents. And so I'm gonna cut a piece of this ribbon and I'm gonna put the end of my ribbon right onto the sticky part of the tape. And then I'm going to add another ribbon, gonna leave a little bit of space. And then I'm going to add another ribbon and then, I bet you guessed it, we're going to leave a little bit of space and add another ribbon. And maybe we want to add some yarn. This is funny yarn. It's fuzzy. Okay. And then, finally, maybe we want to add some of this ribbon that we wrap presents with. I'm almost at the end of that ribbon. It's a good time to use it. Okay, and we're gonna add that one on. All right, now it's time to choose which stick you're gonna make your ribbon dancer. I'm gonna choose the chopstick today. And, and I'm gonna put the pointy side of my chopstick right on that tape. And here's where I need a little more help from my grown up, I think. I'm gonna hold that, and we need to take this tape off that we were holding it down with. And it's a little tricky to do that. So you get some help with that. But now we can Put this tape right on top of that stick and we can roll the stick. Roll the stick and oh, it's getting the tape and that sticky part in between and the ribbon and we're rolling it and we're rolling it. Oh boy. And we're rolling it. And now we're at this end and again, we might need a little help from the grown up to peel that last little piece off. And we're gonna roll it all on. And we are done with our ribbon dancer. Isn't that cool? Okay, remember, what do we do when we're done doing a project? Yep, we need to put our stuff away. So we're gonna take all of the ribbon and the yarn and the scissors and the tape, and we're gonna go put them back where we got them. And then, we're gonna to get to use our ribbon dancer. All right, if you do this activity, 
and you put on some music and do a dance, can you ask your mom and dad to send me a video so I can see you do your dance? All right. I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you.